Would you like some more? Mm -hmm. Hold on guys, we're just getting the party started. I was gonna bring my milkshake, but I think my stomach needs a little bit more time to, you know, gather itself back together. I just had a little salad. <clears throat> What's going on YouTube? It's me, Tiffany, and I'm here with my co-host, Tanea. Hey guys. And we're back with another new video. Right now I'm having some ginger ale to celebrate. Tanea has on Noxzema to take away a mark on her face. Right. And we're back with another new video. So, it's Thursday. It's about 10, 15 at night. And I told Tanae earlier that we should just do the video tomorrow. But then I was like, did your phone just die? Mm -hmm. But then I was like, you know what? After sitting down for like two hours of just sitting. I was and like, Nene cooked dinner tonight. Salad and chicken <laughs> and croutons and ginger ale. But um, I was just like, no, cause one, of course, the number one thing is I don't want to make you guys wait another day. And two, it's not much to talk about today or tomorrow. And three, what was three? I just feel like tomorrow can get crazy. And I just don't want us to be exhausted tomorrow and then have to, you know, record. I want some m &Ms? So, um... Not much has been going on here. We've just been Christmas shopping, going broke, trying to make it day to day. Today is today is Friday. Thank you, Lord. I work tomorrow. Yo, let me tell y'all something. I know something about my goddamn vacation days for next year. What they gonna be? It's gonna be lit for me next year. I mean, vacation days are good. I don't know, but I know I'm getting one when I got it. So, um, I just had finished Periscope, and I was telling people on Periscope, like, well, I haven't Periscoped in so long that I didn't even have any viewers on there. Like, it was crazy. So, you guys are coming back to Periscope, just so you know. Santa Claus is here, too. All right, come on. You're doing a lot. But, um, like I said, there's not much to talk about. I just definitely wanted to come and make sure you guys didn't go into one of my favorite holidays with talk without talking to me come on sam no you after there we go i want to give a shout out to my daughter kimani too she passed her driving test oh my god come and take you for a drive and that's all right yes that's amazing um but anyway so the first thing we're going to talk about is I want to talk about the girl Valerie who died from 16 and pregnant. Valerie! Um, what's crazy is, I mean, my friends will tell you, I've been watching 16 and pregnant for like the past three weeks. Like, right. I watched the first season because I just felt like watching the first season over and I was like, fuck it, I might as well watch all of them. It's five seasons of 16 and pregnant. If you don't know, I'm a big 16 and pregnant teen mom fan. I've seen every episode of all of those little shows. Shout out to the people who watch teen mom because, especially the first teen mom because mm -hmm. they're the originals. So it's like you've been watching forever. Because they're like 25, 26 now. Right. They were 16 I like, I when they I started. watched them grow up. Right. Like, we grew up together. Exactly. But um, what's crazy is I just watched hers, and this was the girl, I mean, just to refresh your memory, she was a black girl, and she lived with an adopted family, but they had had her since she was like a baby, an older white couple, mm -hmm. and um, she got pregnant by some white guy, but he had told her that he didn't want to be together no more. And then um, the episode, I just remember her saying, you know, like the plans that she had for her and her daughter, and um, she was hoping her that her and the baby father could end up being together. But she was a little snappy and edgy, and they were saying that she had been said she was on drugs, but mm -hmm. in the episode, she never mentioned she was on drugs from what I can remember. I'm going to watch it again. But it's just really sad because her daughter is seven now, 
And I remember her name. As soon as I saw her, the daughter's name was like, oh my God, that's right. She named her Nevaeh. I mean, of course, everybody back then was on that, but she was like, you know, I named her Nevaeh, having backwards, because she is like the best thing that's in my life. Like, she's literally like a piece of heaven. And it's just sad. Because, I mean, she had her adopted family, but most adopted people, like, they often think about, right. you know, what happened with their original parents. So, it's just a sad situation, but from what I'm hearing, she overdosed on heroin. That's crazy. I didn't know it was heroin. Yeah. I didn't know they found out what drug it was. That's crazy, and I think she's only 23. Damn. 23 year olds are shooting up heroin? That's crazy. That's really, really crazy, and it's just a really, really sad situation. And I was reading that the um, mother, was saying that she had already had custody of the daughter like because they were saying that she's been on drugs for a while now i mean mm -hmm. she's only 23 so but they were saying she's been on drugs for a while and the mother was saying that she's already been had custody but of course the little girl knew how her mother was and stuff and they let her know that her mother had passed away and she said that she still wanted to go to school today because she didn't want to miss any of the you know today was like the holiday parties and stuff and um they said that they had the counselor check in on her twice and she was doing really good. Like she was just acting like it was a normal day. How that I would be scared. My my um my sister was seven when my stepdaughter. I was like, but also day. she is so young. Yeah. So it's like you really don't know what emotions right. are to feel anything. Exactly. You don't know if you're supposed to be sad because that is your mom, but I think that it'll hit her later in life. Probably. You know what I mean? When she's like fifteen or sixteen. But it's it's a really sad situation. When I saw the little girl, because I hadn't, when I was watching 16 and Pregnant, I would Google the person so I could see what they look like now. And I don't remember seeing a picture of this little girl, but she grew up to be so pretty. She looks just like the father. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. She looks just like the father. It's so crazy. But that's just a sad situation. It and sad. it's so close to the holidays. And it's sad that she's that young, so. I'm crazy. You have on a sweater. I should have kept off my face. So, um, for the people who watch 16 and Pregnant and Team Mom, and if you just want to say a prayer, pray for her daughter. Yeah, that is so As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my God, I know Tiffany and Sweetie. Yo, I hadn't even seen it. Like, people were tagging me in it. Then you I sent it to me. You. Simone texted to me. And I didn't even have my phone by me at first. I was out shopping. And then when I saw it, I was like, oh no. And then I saw Kale. Kale had tweeted, like, I'm so sorry to hear about what happened to Valerie with all the sad faces. <sighs> so sad. I told y'all so many sad things happen towards the holidays. The end of the year. You know people are more suicidal during this time of the year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um I don't I, I can't even believe I'm making this a topic. I just wanna know did y'all see the throwback Thursday of Wendy Williams today because okay. No, because at first I wasn't going to talk about it, but then when I was on Periscope, they was asking me like, "What do you think about Wendy Williams' throwback picture?" I, I, why would you put this up? Why would you post Wendy? That's my only question. Like, do you not love yourself? Like, do you not care? The thing is, is that they had a fucking field day with that picture. It's about to be memes. Like, I know it's about to be memes. Like. A field day with the picture. See, the thing about it is, I went to her page, I went to the shade room, and I went to ball alert to look at, look at all their comments. I was cracking up. When I first saw it, I went to her page to make sure it wasn't Photoshop. No, it's not. It's real. It's I thought that somebody took her face. And put it on like a little body. Or like a big body. She more like got more head than she got body. Wonder Woman look like a, a linebacker. Like it looked like her shoulder pads and everything on. It looked like if she don't have no neck. She looked like something. Like something on TV. They said she looked like a Mexican father. And you know what? Yo, Mexican fathers are built like that. Shit. Yo, they're built like that. And truly, I would be scared to have a baby with her son just in case. Because that's 
bad fucking genetics all around. And then the beehive, like, they went extra hard on her because... As they should. When, one, you know, when Blue Ivy, when she was going through her nappy hair stage, whatever that means, Wendy Williams did, like, three different videos talking about how Beyonce needed to comb her hair, talking about Blue Ivy wasn't cute and shit. Wendy. Ma'am, I'm just gonna say this. The same adult face that you have now is the same adult face you had. Well, <laughs> like, bitch, how hard was life? And she's talking about, like, she's talking about, um, hair right now. And what was called that, that, that awkward, awkward state. Bitch, you still awkward. You never grew out of it. What's the show where the lady don't really have no body? Like, it's just like her legs and arms. I don't know. That's exactly, exactly what, what she looks, looks like. like. Like, I don't know what it is. And it's like, I was telling my periscope, don't get me wrong. We all have a fugly ass picture at 12. I but was a bitch, fugly kid. Bitch. So. Why would you post that? Everybody right. already, like that. I mean, it kind of shows that maybe she doesn't care what everybody No, I said. really feel like she is, something's wrong with her on the inside. It's literally like going in front of people and being like, just shoot me. <laughs> just shoot me. Go ahead and shoot me. I like to get shot. No. Like, it was the craziest thing ever. What's wrong with you? You was not no fugly kid. Oh my god. Yes, she was. I can't, she my, was they won't yes, she was. talk about she was myself. Not. That's because you were her child. Right. Like, you was my mother, so of course you didn't think I was fugly. I was. But it's okay. I'm okay with this. She it was, was not fine. never. I ain't think that. You didn't have a cute baby. I did have a cute baby. I had a cute baby and I got a cute baby now. I mean, she's cute, cute now. She was cute when she was born. She always been cute. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I wonder what people were saying behind your back. They probably was like, how old fuck you look at me? And she got a girl to have a fucking attitude. Get her fucking ass out of here. Cause that's what I would have said. <laughs> right! That's the day! Tanea hates a funny looking funny ass child. I can't oh, take That's all she needs. I can't take a funny looking kid. You know, I'm not gonna say her name. But remember she used to come to church, she was a friend of your cousins, and her baby had that ugly ass cry, and she was funny looking, and she would act funny when you tried to touch her. Say, look at that little fugly ass baby. with a bow on your head and then you also make that noise when you cry. But then you <laughs> always cry. Who ain't got the time? Me. No, I don't want to hold you. you. I don't want to look at you. I'm not. I don't care. The man is gorgeous. She is. But that's what happened. But see, the thing is, it's not that it's not that I was like, fugly. It was the thing it was when you are a little girl and you look like your father, Sometimes that's unfortunate if your father doesn't make a pretty woman. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how else to explain it. That's real. That's real. And like most, most of the girls look like their father. So I mean, it was, it's cool. Like I'm okay with it. I mean, I've never had low self esteem. See, my thing is no, but see, my whole thing is Tanea. I'm the person that will not call a child ugly. Tanea is the first one to call your baby ugly. The first one. Yes. The first one. I don't believe in this shit. I don't believe in you talking about people babies. It's horrible. I know. But she was a fugly ass baby. She was not. Stop saying that. Like, like, that's what I can she say. Was. Was she was. She was not. Now she was not fugly. Now you talk to you. First of all, of you know she was our video. Uh, of course she wasn't fugly to you. Uh, this is our video. Go Look, you messing up our video. Pull up and throw away Thursday. At any rate, cause Nene don't want me to talk about her child. Um, like I just feel like if you got a fugly ass baby, you got a fugly baby. Like you know the you know your baby fugly. I really don't think they do. They may. My baby ain't fugly. Whatever. They say, but she is not. Okay. My mother ignored.
acknowledge that my little sister was a little fugly when she was born. <laughs> I don't know why, but Brittany had a big eye and a little eye, and we were like creeped out by her. <laughs> and my mother still talks about it. She calls my nephew fugly every time she gets talked about. How he looks like a monkey. So you know, it is what it is. It I mean, it is what it is. To look at today now. I mean, some of y'all might not think she's pretty. I don't think she's into pretty. a beautiful swan. But Wendy Williams, you've been the same your whole life. You still a pigeon, bitch. And you have <laughs> the nerve to be talking about people. I just don't understand. Like, I gotta see a baby picture with you now. No, please I don't. go further in I the vault, Wendy. Don't. Please. I don't. She please. looks like Uncle Fester. Like, I that's exactly. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! How tall were you at twelve? Like six one. I, I just can't take it. Moving on to um, a lot of people are asking us about Real Housewives in Atlanta. And see, the thing is, I hadn't been watching it. Like, I literally took a day this week and I watched all of them. And I, Tanea actually caught, like, the last two episodes with me. But she caught what everybody, you know, wants mm. to talk about, which is the fight between Cam me. It wasn't a fight. It Candy a and Phaedra's and back and forth. And the thing is... Um, Girl, Simone, you're too late. See, I don't be liking when people... I don't be liking when people be um, texting me back two hours late. See, because me, I just won't text you back at all if I'm going to text you back two hours late. Um, but anyway, so... Um, I, I'm going to say how I feel, and then I'm going to let Tanae talk. I feel like Candy needs to simmer the fuck down. Like... Girl, when did you even become this person? Like, first of all, when I was watching the intro, I was like, oh, okay, Candy's in the middle now. She's holding a peach. So, like, I don't know if you being in the middle has made you start to act like this. Like, I definitely feel like Phaedra is always shady. And it's nothing wrong like with... It's just, like, that's just her personality. Right, but it, and it's nothing wrong with calling people out. But I genuinely believe that... Phaedra really did love Candy. And I just feel like Candy was really taking it too far. And she was like, she had to like, like, love her enough to tell her her secrets. See, that's my whole thing. Let me tell you something. I don't play that, especially me as an adult. Um, if you tell me something in confidence, yeah, I don't like that shit. I will take that shit to the grave. Like, it. I, I don't like that whole when I'm mad with you. Yeah, that's just so say, say, say your business because that just makes you look so trashy and unloyal, Candy. The thing about it is, I, you know what? I almost want to blame Phaedra because it's like, Phaedra, y'all not friends no more. So who do you think that you are that you can even say something to her about her mother? Because for years now, she hasn't checked her mother. She would barely check her mother to her fucking man. So, someone that they are friends for, she not going to check her mother. So, you shouldn't have even made, called this meeting. But Mama Drew, see, what, see, that's my whole thing. But Mama Joyce tried it. When the fuck is Mama Joyce going to grow up? Never. Candy, check your fucking mother. Like, your mother is trash, my nigga. Like, I don't... It's not funny. It's like, you know when you see something and you're like... Okay, you know like at that family reunion, that one uncle that gets too fucking drunk and then he just start acting crazy. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, it's not funny. Like when you go, it was it was funny ten years ago for Thanksgiving. It's not funny this year. Like, stop it. Like, Mama Joyce, you're too old for that. You you you. Why are you even going to dinner with them? Why are you a part of the show? And you know what? It's crazy because at the at the little dinner thing. Well, they, it wasn't that they she went to dinner with them. The whole thing was Candy, you know, they opened in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. So Candy got the chef to go ahead and cook them some food so they could go ahead and see what it was going to be like. Mm -hmm. But the aunt and Mama Joyce, you know, they're part of the restaurant. Right. They also bought desserts. So they were all sitting at the table. But the first thing was when she tried to pull it to the side and talk to her. And Candy came back there and got him and was like, Mom, what you doing? Like, don't do this right now. She tried to pull who to the side? Faith. And say something to her about the whole Apollo thing and some other shit. So then she tried, you know, she said something to her at the table. So really what, which I feel like that was the right thing because, I mean, I understand what you're saying. Like, we know that Candy's not going to check her, but 
before Phaedra goes to the next step, I'm just. Well, I, mean, I understand why Phaedra did it, but I'm just saying when you look in the long run, it was like, what was you even wasting your breath for? Right. You know what I'm saying? And like Tanea said, now I'll say this. People have slip ups in the past or when you're younger and you're extra petty, but they 30 and over. You can you 30 and over on fucking camera. On camera for the world to see. Trying to pull her card and put her out there telling shit that only you know about. Okay, we all had our speculations about chocolate, but now you really Because when something first came out about chocolate, you was like, no, no, fate is not about that. She doesn't do that. dealing with her no more like if that's the case cut Phaedra off y'all just see each other when y'all have to because of contract issues but you want to do that really like it's like you've been hanging with Don Juan too long like, and it's like he pumped you up let me tell you went. something it's literally like and I don't know if they made the show about this and maybe Candy at the end of the season you should maybe go have a meeting with Andy and Bravo to see how they can actually fix your storyline cause right now your whole storyline is about Phaedra. Oh, every scene with you, Don Juan, comma, and um, your husband, Phaedra's name comes out every time y'all all sitting together. It's like, God damn, does Phaedra taste good? Because y'all, her name stays in your mouth. If you are watching this, do not be that person because at some point you were friends. I literally cannot sit and just tell somebody business like something that they literally told me. Like that's so it's fucking so low. low. It's, it's so I just low. Can't believe it. It's so petty. It's so childish. Like Candy, I feel like people who are your friends that are watching that should be side eye you right now. Like yikes! Like is she gonna do that to me? Karma. You better watch out. Like, y'all all laughing at Kiki. It's like y'all laughing at Kiki now because right now Mama mm -hmm. Joyce is not one of y'all fucking targets. Like I said, Phaedra can no, be not one of my targets. Everybody needs to be putting their place sometimes, but for you to stop telling her business, no. That was wrong. Because, like, you. I just. I'm not doing I just can't. It's so fucking stupid. I See, because she already got her issues with Candy. Anyway. I can't stand Candy and I don't like her mother. So fuck her. I can't stand Candy. I just can't believe you did that. I ain't liked it in a long time. I haven't liked Candy for a long time. I honestly don't think I've liked it since the show started. Because I've always been Team Nene. So, like, and they haven't, they've been kind of rocky since the beginning. So. I mean, she definitely was like, we're calling her out about sitting up there with Nene and doing all that because I hated that shit. That was Yeah, that was kind of weird, but I mean, when you in an emotional space, like, a take a card anytime, but it's not like she, when you go back and you look at it, when she, when she is talking to Nene about Candy, she doesn't, she never says anything nasty. She never said anything bad about Candy. What she said was, I really thought at this time Candy would really, really be there, and she's not. She didn't say no secrets. She, you know what I'm saying? Like, she really didn't do, like, she did say, like, you know, little shady stuff about Todd, but that was because her and Todd was going through their own thing with that video. And you know what? I feel like at that part of their marriage, when Candy and Phaedra became really, really close, I really feel like it's possible that she could have loved Candy more than she loved Apollo at that moment. I can understand it. I, I do. Just, especially when Apollo wasn't treating her right, and Candy was the person that she ran to and right. told, like, What's going on? Like, you're my, you're my fucking best friend, bitch. This nigga did me wrong. He got a whole fucking scheming ass fucking business on the side. He went to jail. Could have possibly, I could have went to jail, lost my fucking license to be a lawyer. How? Okay. Girl. It's just like, oh, you were my friend. You were my best friend. You were my confidant while he was being a jacket. Right. Like, you were the you person mean? I was leaning on. When you I didn't know what? It's just fucked up. And the sad part is it's going to, like, make Phaedra. I mean, because it's kind of, I mean, you can make friends your whole life. 
But when you meet friends later in life, it's just special and it's different. And it's like, now she probably ain't gonna get no more See, fucking the thing friends. Is, she ain't gonna be able to, I think, is Spectre a Scorpio? I don't know, but let me, let me tell see. you something about me. Because that scene would have turned into something totally different <laughs> had it been Tanea. And she said something that I told her that was a secret. I would have flipped that then table she over. she is a Scorpio. I, flip that table over and been on top of candy before you can say white rice bitch. I would have mocked and glowed her ass on that floor. I would, what? You said my business. She ain't gonna do that because she a lawyer she know what the heck. That's the difference between me and Phaedra. I'm not no lawyer. I work at an investment company with like 2,000 other people. I can easily whip somebody's ass and then keep my job. See, this is this is why we can't watch Real Housewives of Atlanta because it's just too stressful. Like, I don't want to talk. I want to fight. Like, like, that's the thing. Like, see, I the fight. thing is, at, at one point, my only person that I wanted to fight was Kenya. More. I still want to fight her. Now, I feel like I can take Kenya more and Kenya. I want to fight Mama Joyce. See, that, that's why I know it's a problem. See, the thing is, that's I want to, like, like Mama Joyce. Yes. Yeah. Like, Candy, because Candy was like, I don't know why, but for some reason my mother is not helping with the baby, and she's like, you know, me being busy and me being, you know, basically I'm a celebrity, I need help. She, she thinks she's a celebrity, she so she she go to take over there. She was like, well, today she, my mother just don't have a choice. She's gonna have to watch him. She get there, she's like, well, how much you paying me? She said, I bought you this house. Are you, Yeah. Stop fucking around with me yeah. and do what I say. I will set all them wigs on fire. It just. Oh, you want to play the extra card for Joyce? Oh, it's getting ready. Come on. Cut Joyce's card off. I will cut all the fucking funds. Keep on, keep on talking shit. Now make sure you look at the clothes. Okay. I put, I put a bag on your bed so you can put it all in there. It's a great um Target bag or Walmart or something. Okay. So that's enough about Real Housewives of Atlanta. Right, it bo boils my blood. It's, it's, I hate all them bitches. And why do Bob sweat so much? They telling me that he's sniffing some coke or something, y'all. Something ain't right. That smack. His neck is that like literally sugar. raining. Like his neck, his chest, his arms, his face, his head. Like bottle, like no, it looks like she's doing the ALS challenge. Nay, nay, look at my lights. All the time. It's nasty, and I just feel like Sheree don't need to give him another chance because that nigga hasn't said sorry. Sheree, are you before. entertaining this? With he was a terrible ass father. He left he was a terrible ass husband. Like he, he really, he refused to pay for her house. So they ended up in a fucking like three two bedroom condo. Like you really played with your fucking kids. You let them go from a mansion to shit. That right. took Chateau Charade seven fucking years to open. But it's bomb. It is. Oh, but it's bomb. But they're not in it yet. My whole thing with it is, Sheree, you're so much better than Bob. Like, he's sweaty and nice. Nice, I like him. Thank you. All right. I knew you would say that. I got some lights in my bedroom. But, um, yeah, I don't. This show is going to shit. Can I have a Nene show only? And I'm done with Matt. I want to see. I don't really understand why Matt is getting all the story time. I, it's, it's freaking me out. Like, because Kenya wants a bigger story. Where are y'all going? She said that she would sell Matt's ass out to get a larger story. And Andy said, okay. I know that was the meeting. I know. Let me tell you something. I don't. Can we do a, a Kenya and Portia show? Like, I don't really. I mean, Portia, Portia and Phaedra. I don't want to see anybody else. I don't care about Cynthia. Oh, damn. Kim not even on here. It's nobody I want to see. Like, I don't care about anybody. I didn't want to see Kim no more. I would rather watch Kim than she watch She was better than me, Tori. She, she was. She, honestly, it was. 
Phaedra, get the fuck off the show, okay? You shouldn't be allowed to be on this show because you are a lawyer. I'm gonna give a shout out to the Scorpion because the Scorpion is oh, home. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. I'm excited about his video tomorrow so I can hear all about what was going on in the hospital and stuff, but he said he feels good, he's home, and he can't wait to record tomorrow with Mikhail, so I'm happy to hear about Mikhail's trip, and I'm happy to hear that the Scorpion is doing better because... Where did these M&Ms come from? I bought them. Okay. You okay. want to feel better, in the words of Dada. You want to feel better. I'm about to tell you too. I've been off a lot this week. I've been having some really good days, like with driving. That's work. Okay. I, I think it might be work. I'm not playing. Oh, yeah. Simone. Simone. Who's next time? <laughs> um, the girl was nuts. Boys, y'all was so laid back, so whatever. We're not going to get me back. Also, Beyonce just gave all of her employees an iPad with the Formation World Tour, some kind of made into it. The back of it. And Beyonce, this is what I got to say to your petty ass. I'm not sure how we're leaving 2016 without the Formation Road Tour on DVD yet. Okay, I know it's made already. I know it's edited already. I know for a fact it's done. Beyonce, what are you doing to us right now? Why? And that damn, do y'all follow that damn Beehive official page or something? Don't retweet that shit on my timeline. Because all they do is fucking lie. We've gotten word that the Formation Tour DVD will be dropping around Thanksgiving. See, Beyonce, the first thing you did was make me mad by not making it a Thanksgiving special. Yeah, because I was right for that. Then you made me mad by not putting it. Do you remember that time when she put her uh, tour DVD out on uh, Black Friday? We if Beyonce would have put the Formation Tour out on Black Friday, it would have sold out. Like that. Walmart and Target. Now Christmas is in what three days? Mm -hmm. You're not even gonna give it to us as a gift, right? That could have been one of Tiffany Christmas gift from me. And now we're going into New Year's. Nothing. So I gotta keep going on YouTube and looking at videos. Maybe you'll give it to us for Valentine's Day. Beyonce, I can't wait that long. Sometimes I go off. I'm just, I go hard. I'm just sad about it, but um, that's all we wanted to talk about. But I do want to tell you guys, um, well, we'll start with what we're doing. Um, of course, since we're not doing much, um, I always stay the night at my mother's house. And I like to be there with Rex because he's new to all this and he is the sunshine to my day. He's, and they also need some order. He's Over the there. sun in my sky. He's everything to me. So I'm holding her wildly. I'm so, so I just can't wait to see his face on Christmas. He just keeps telling me that Santa Claus is bringing him a motorcycle and a robot. So we got him two robots and like twelve motorcycles. All right, DJ Kelly. And then, and then today we got you two robots. Today he said, then I know when he got this big fascination with the Jungle Book and Power Rangers. The Jungle Book is very hard to find other than online, but somehow God has blessed me to find about four uh, Jungle Book items. And then he said he was getting a Power Ranger. I went to the store yesterday and got a pair of Power Ranger. Today, Santa Claus came to his daycare. And I said, what did you tell Santa Claus you getting? I told Santa Claus I'm getting two Power Rangers. So me and my sister looked at each other and I was like, you getting up? Yeah, you said you want a Power Ranger. No, I'm getting two Power Rangers. Santa Claus said he gonna bring me two Power Rangers. I just feel like I should go get another one. Yes, because I don't, I don't want Santa Claus to disappoint him. Santa Claus gave you one because another kid in need needed another one. She's sending me pictures. Yo, out. this girl is crazy. <laughs> this lady up there. She's sending me throwback Thursday pictures. This is my baby. She is so cute. So look at her ponytails. You waiting on these holes. She been slaying. He's talking about Cardi's ponytails. <laughs> but, um, mm. so yeah, and then after I leave there. This is the funny one. Look at me, though, because I'm really cracking up. What you that? Who knows? Um. Go on. 
So, what was I about to say? So yeah, then um, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay there maybe an hour. I wanna make him breakfast because my sister in law was like, no, I'm gonna be tired. But he loves breakfast. So I'm gonna make him like some cinnamon rolls. He loves eggs and bacon. So I'm gonna make that and then I'm gonna let him, his mother, and his father, you know, have family time or whatever it is that they do. Um and then I'm gonna come home and we're all playing. <laughs> Shade. I'll come home and me, Nay, Nay, Tanae, and Kari are all playing to wear matching PJs and we're going to have breakfast and then we're going to open our gifts all together and then we're just pretty much going to lounge around. Tanae is cooking dinner. Tell them what you're cooking for Hold Christmas. Hold on, I just want you to know Christmas is in two days and we still don't have these matching pajamas. But, don't, don't um, expose us. I'm just saying, just in case you don't see us in the pajamas. We will be. Um, I'm making a Christmas ham. It's not right there. What's the Christmas ham? Did you? I have on Christmas. Is there something different from Thanksgiving? No, it's on Christmas. The Thanksgiving ham, Christmas ham. Okay. Cause I just can't stop my nothing for when I see a Christmas ham. It's my favorite. <laughs> but um, so I'm making a Christmas ham. I'm making some chicken, some fried chicken. I'm gonna make a small pan of macaroni and cheese. Um. What am I making? Stuffed shells. Stuffed shells. I'm excited about the stuffed shells. Um, string beans. Nene is making potato salad. And Kari's going to make a fun fatty cake. Tanae said fun. she was going to make a sweet potato pie. I don't want no more fun fatty cake. Shit, that fun fatty cake is crisac. I don't want that. We don't care. I want fun fatty cake. Are you making um sweet potato pie? I don't know yet because my best friend hit my feelings so bad. I don't think I'm gonna never try to make one. You know what's crazy is that bitches don't want the truth. And let me tell you something. Y'all here, you follow me on my social media, everything. You you hear me say it on Periscope, you hear me say it on here. There's no doubt about it. Tanea's food is the shit. People mess with me all the time, like, oh, you know she don't want nothing. She only eat Tanea food. Like, it's not it's rude. Now, if it's an issue, if there's something I feel like today, because her first thing, anytime you try to say something to her about anything she cooked is, well, you don't have to fucking eat it. Fuck you. I don't give a fuck. Because that's the main point. Like, why did she go straight into defense when we know for a fact today is the best person that I, the, the, one of the best cooks that I know in my life right now, she's one of the best cooks that I know. So, I just don't know why she gets offended, but... I tell her all the time, and every time I tell her something, I never forget Tanea. Everybody loves Tanea's big ZD. I went to Tanea on the low, and I told her, I said, Tanea, your big ZD needs work. It's dry. There's no sauce. It's not cheesy. Fuck you. You don't have to fucking eat it. I won't make that shit no more. I know for a fact after that conversation, she started doing something, Googling, figuring out what she was missing, y'all. Tanea's big ZD is unreal these days. Like... Real, it's saucy as fuck, it's cheesy as fuck, it's seasoned as fuck. Like, when you put it on, like, because before sometimes people make ZD, you can almost cut it like lasagna. No, like, we literally gotta get like a big ass spoon because it's just oozing with cheese and sauce. It's banging, it's banging. Thank you, it's fucking banging. Anytime I say anything to her, like, Tanea. Something, 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 something. It's not to be like, it was nasty. It's just because I know what she's capable of. And I understand that, but it's just like what Beyonce said. This is my art and I'm sensitive about my shit. Tanea, the one thing that Tanea is struggling with right now is sweet potato pie. I know she has it in her. It's in her. It's going to take a couple of tries. Nobody in this family makes sweet potato pie. We have nobody to make a sweet potato pie. I used to get it from my friend Ashley's mother, but I don't want to like not talk to her all year and then text her like, hey, can I get a sweet potato pie? I didn't have any sweet potato pie on Thanksgiving. Tanea did make it. I just particularly didn't like it. Like, it's not that, oh, it was nasty, it was disgusting. Tanea don't know what the fuck she's doing. Let me tell you. I know what Tanea is capable of. I'm going to try to make a um, sweet potato pie. No, bitch, you can't make no face. Tanea, where you put my phone at? I need it. Go, I'm I was over here 
you being the engineer, you didn't even know. Tanea needs help on her sweet potato pie, but other than that, I know I need help. That's why. Like for you this time, I've been fucking googling and everything, <laughs> making notes and all that, screenshotting and all that shit. So hold on, can I say something? Why did nobody tell me about this gift keyboard? Who gift keyboard? I, you know, you don't, you haven't found it on your phone. Who's that? It's literally a keyboard with gifts on it already. What is it called gifts? So, um, that's pretty much what we'll be doing after we eat breakfast and all open gifts. Um, I'm sure Kari is going to annoy me. So that's the thing about these kids and their Christmas gifts. After you buy these gifts, then you have to help them or you have to play with them. And it's just so fucking, oh, I didn't know about it. Me either. I like it. It's already right there and you can search stuff. Thank you for showing me that. Um, it's just so annoying and that's what I was saying about Rex. I mean like Kari's isn't gonna be too bad. Kari's pretty smart. Most of the time Kari likes to do shit on her own anyway. But like Rex, you know that age, they wanna open everything, they wanna play with everything, you gotta show them how to play it. My mother bought him like a kid, a Wii for kids, so I like I already know what that's gonna be like. He's going to be acting a whole asshole on Christmas. Um, and then we'll just be lounging around. Like, I'm sure people will be in and out of our house. Like, sometimes our friends come and see us. Uncle Al will probably stop past. Our aunt or two. Niggas want plates. Maybe know how that go. just one aunt. So, um... Is coming home for Christmas or she's staying in the house? She said she wanted to stay in the house. I told her I might bring her a plate. But then it might be raining on Christmas. If it rain, you probably won't see me the Tuesday. That's real. That's real. Um, I think that's all I had on the list. It was something else I wanted to tell you. Oh, yeah, I wanted to tell you guys what I, you know, told people last year because I feel like this not long video is now over an hour. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> I feel like people, why do I feel high? I was smoking weed on while I was in the room today while she was smoking. I hope I didn't. Oh, my God. No, I'm not about that life no more. I think I'm sleepy. We can be blazed together. Um, don't play it. Don't play it. I want people to understand that even though people are buying gifts and stuff, because right now I'm broke. It's a fucking joke. And even though some people don't have family, I just want you to make the best of it. You know, if you need me to periscope on Christmas to make you feel like you have some type of love around you, I will do it. Because I'm going to be in the house, but I just see so many people like, I'm not getting nothing this. for Christmas. It's not about the gifts, you guys. If you're an adult, I can really tell you that um, at, one, at some point, like, Christmas just becomes so, like, dull. Like, it's like, what's, like, other than it being Jesus' birthday. What's the point? And then <laughs> what? <laughs> Go ahead. But then I realize the older that I get, that Christmas and like the gifts and the excitement that for like children. It's really a children and thing. Your mother, because Nene is like our child. Um, you have to chill. She is. We make sure she gets a lot of stuff for Christmas. We didn't. Achieve. Nice stuff, but that's because we move. Uh -huh. Usually when we move, they may at least have like six gifts open. Yeah, I mean, I feel like me and Tanae are on two different things though, because like, honestly, Tanae could stay in bed and then cook dinner. Like, I mean, she doesn't mind a gift here or there, but I feel like if she didn't get gifts, like she wouldn't be sitting in the corner crying. I wouldn't be in the corner crying, but I've noticed with having kids in my life that it's a little bit more fun when you have a kid. Yeah. So if you're one of those families who like don't have a kid or you don't see like kids open gifts or kids be excited, like yeah. it's kind of dull. Yeah, like Tanya was saying, she was like maybe when she has kids. When you have your, oh, I already know like when you have your, like, cause I, I have a nice time just like watching Kari open her gifts. So but the thing about Kari is like, that's why I was like, Rex is fun. Like Kari's not fun right. anymore. Kari, Kari made the, Speaking of Kari, <laughs> the Kari makes the littlest list now, and it's like she opens her stuff. She's happy, be but like, she's Thank not. You. But she literally be opening her gifts like, oh. I don't know if she's like too cool to show emotion. But like Rex will be like. <laughs> Kari already don't believe 
believe in Santa Claus. I thought like, yes, so, she did. Oh. Ask her. Kyle, you believe in Santa Claus? You want guests? Do you want guests? Don't get in trouble. I just Do you believe in this. Santa Claus? Sure. You better say yes or you're going to get a beating. Yes. See? She need a beating right now. But um, yeah, it's just different when you have a child around you. When you, if you don't have kids around you, it's, it's just different. It's a it's different, a different feeling. feeling. So I can understand that, but I just feel like either way, the reason for the season is Jesus. It's Jesus and love. Because the thing is, you have to remember what the gifts represent. The gift given represents my God, the Lord, the Almighty One. <laughs> Giving his son as a gift to the world, knowing yes. that not too much longer he would give his life. Oh my god. For the world. What a gift. Could you imagine your only son? You giving him like, I'm just gonna go ahead and make this son and give him to Mary. Let her raise him because I know one day he's gonna die. Like, you made me to die. It was a holy night. It was a holy it night. It was a ho get into the song. Holy night, holy night, when Christ was born. Holy night. Get to the Michelle Williams version. Oh, holy night. Yo, that Michelle Williams. Yo, see, y'all sleep with Michelle. Yo, y'all ain't woke. Because Michelle kills it on every song she on. Give Michelle a piece of a song. If you give Michelle a piece of a song, you'll never forget her part. I love Michelle. So I also wanted to say, um, so don't forget the reason for the season. I hope you all had a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. I really, really do. It's just for one day. It's about family. It's about love. It's about Jesus. It's about Jesus. It's about God. It's about God. It's about love. It's about love. Celebrating life, more life, more wins. But um, for the people who are traveling, I pray you have safe travels. I pray you don't have any hassle. I saw a couple people on my Snapchat. Some people are in Florida. Some my people are home. Going to Georgia. Yeah, it's Tomorrow. a lot of people. You got another coworker that went to New York. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people that went to Florida. That must be the new thing. It's about to be my permit thing. So, um... So, yeah, I just hope you all have a great time. We will be back next week with a new video. I'm not sure what day. You just, we're just going to pop up out of nowhere. Right. And we're going to do our um, our end of the year video, which is it's going to be an emotional one for me because so much has just happened in 2016. It has. We're going to talk about... You know what? 2016 has been a dreadful year. Yeah. But personally, mm -hmm. for our personal lives... And for the show. It's been good. Well, the show is our personal lives. Oh, okay. Um, for our personal lives, 2016 has been a good year. Started off with Beyonce. Beyonce came in February. Look, I'm not even going to get started, but, um, yeah, so we'll be back and we're going to talk about some of the highs and lows of the new year, some of our blessings, you know, things that we're hoping to happen in 2017. What I'm also asking is, I would love for you to email me or you can comment under this video. You can DM me on any of my social medias, not Instagram. Why do y'all message me on Instagram, y'all? I never get them. Like, I never get them. I, and then I have, like, people requesting me to send me a message, which I don't understand why Instagram just doesn't let you s let people send, send me a message. It's stupid. And it's I don't obvious. get them. And it then it looks like I'm being rude. I mean, I get messages that are three weeks old. No, I just found one in my inbox from, uh, from um, Instagram. It's like three months old. I feel so bad. I yeah. just saw it like the other day. Yeah, so, you know, DM me. But I want to know, what are some things you would like to see in 2017 on the show? Is there anything that you would like to see us change? Is there, like, something you have a suggestion? I mean, it's not to say that we're going to take it, but I would love to hear I mean, well, we might because the show is for us, but really the show is for you. This is true. 
So I want to say one more thing, and then we're going to go. I want to give a shout out to Ashley Miller because I love her. She was I do too. She was talking about. Um, she was. I think she was watching uh, Little Women of. I don't know which city. I don't think it was L.A. I'm not sure. But anyway, I think that they went on a date or something. She was on a date with this guy, and long story short, the guy couldn't fit on the ride. And she started telling the story about how one time that happened to her. And when she recently went to the amusement park, she didn't get on the ride. She was like, because I just, you know, you kind of know, like me too. Some rides I see, and I'd be like, nope, not even want to do it. I remember and, the day that I couldn't fit on my favorite ride. Yeah, it, it kind of pushed me though. Like it kind of woke me back up to, you know, if Tamika isn't motivation enough, Jesus. I mean, Tamika is in Zumba like three times a week. The I gym, walking, Tamika's not eating certain so shit, fasting, juice dieting, carrots, eating like right. a damn rabbit, right. taking a whole damn week to eat a Chipotle bowl. Oh my god, I got a bull egg. It took me two days. I'd be like ready to kill her ass. Like, this taco is going to take me three days to eat. Like, girl, I didn't eat ten tacos in two minutes. Like, you really... I can't eat? stop. Like, I can't stop. But it just made me, like, it woke me back up. Because in the summertime, it's like when you want to do fun stuff. And I've already said I probably won't be getting on many more outrageous rides anyway. Because I was a roller coaster person. And I just don't want to have a heart attack because I'm, like, older and fat. But if y'all go to the Kings of Minion, the best ride is the flight of the but um I feel like every plus size person who has been at the amusement park, it's happened to them before at least once. And it's very embarrassing. It is. It's so, so embarrassing. embarrassing. Or if you can't fit on a ride, but like three people have to push the thing on you. Girl, please don't make me cry. Diary of a fat person. Diary of a fat bitch, like that, like that really ash. I just wanted to tell you, like that really pushed me. Like, bitch, you need to start walking. You need to start cutting these fucking meals. I was just telling Mama Nay because she wanted to eat beef and steak and gravy, and I was like, we eat plenty. What did I tell you about that shit? Oh my God. What did I tell you about that I didn't shit? Need to do it. I when you said steak, I just was like, yeah. I just feel like. We don't have to cut them all out, but we can substitute some things. Like, instead of ha us having ground beef burgers, let's have turkey burgers. But she's just like, no, I don't want that shit. But I got her to eat one last night, and she enjoyed it. So I'm like, if we're going to have steak, let's have turkey burgers instead of ground beef burgers. I even tried to get Tanae to switch to turkey, um, ground turkey instead of ground beef and the spaghetti, but she really just feels like it's too mushy. And I know some of you watching are probably saying, no, I use it in mind. It's good. Tanea just refuses to try it. I'm I really hoping that she can't. does. It's just the cons the texture of the um, the texture of the turkey when it's crumbled. You know what I think? I think you should cook it longer, like almost burn it a little bit. No, I don't want to. I just I'm just trying to tell you. I can't. You know I can eat meatless spaghetti. I like the I'd rather sausage. eat some meatless spaghetti than to eat. Turkey. But I really think you'll fuck it up. I think we should try out like a small, small pot of it. I don't know. I think we should. I think we should. Like I'm, I'm really hoping that we can do some cutting back. Like we really, for the most part, we don't eat too much bread. Like you know, Nene's making beef stew, so she bought some cans of biscuits. But we don't like have loaves of bread and or eat bread. With yeah, dinner. We yeah, really we don't, don't do eat that. bread if like we eat a sandwich. I feel like I need to work on my snack, and then Tanae needs to work on her juice. Like Tanae's addicted to juice and Pepsi and True Life. I'm addicted to soda and juice. I got three cartons of Minute Maid in the refrigerator waiting for me. Yeah. So um. Anyway, just you know, that was just something that I was thinking about because. I just remember the first time that I couldn't fit on a ride at the amusement park and the way I felt. And it made me, like, almost for, like, two or three years not get on another ride because that was so embarrassing. And they started making fat rides. But the thing about it is they still haven't made my favorite ride a fat ride. I don't think they're going to. That's all I tell them. So we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And we'll be back before the New Year. If this is your first time watching, make sure you subscribe.
will be here every Monday and Thursday. For the people who have been watching, make sure you share this video. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell your mother, your cousin, your sister, your brother. Tell somebody about the show. And we'll be back next week with an all new end of the year video. Don't forget to leave me those comments about what you want to see in 2017 and your uh, suggestions and all that. And I want to give a shout out to my friend Tamara because she just had a beautiful baby yes, yesterday. And Reagan. I'm so happy. I, myself, I went to God and thanked him for blessing me with that baby. So, yeah. shout out to her. Love her. And if you didn't know, now you know there's no show like the show. I love you all. And I'm really going to try to get Tiffany to stop singing. Because I know that it's bad. Bye.